I am Leona Dooley, and this is Ebony Ivy and Time, where we work hard, we love God and family, and we know that everything else is just gravy. This week in the kitchen, we are going to step out of our comfort zone. And what we're going to do this week, we're going to travel to another kitchen. Actually, I'm in the kitchen of my son and daughter-in-law. And uh, I am having the fun of uh, entertaining and, and transporting my youngest granddaughter. And uh, she's only two. And uh, we're just having a great time with her and spending as much valuable time as we possibly can. So this week, uh, because my daughter-in-law is actually traveling this week, I am the cook. And so uh, I'm enjoying preparing meals in the kitchen. And I thought, well, you know, I'm in a new kitchen, a different kitchen anyway, not so much new, but a different kitchen. So I prepared some dishes that I would not normally prepare that were a little unusual. I wanted something that uh, I knew she would like, my son would like, husband would like, and of course, I'm going to like. And since you're with me in the kitchen, I'm hoping you're going to like them too. So this week in the kitchen, we're gonna be taking a look at uh, making, uh, Monday, we're going to make a sauce that is going to uh, a white cheddar, cheesy, saucy lasagna. And guys, I've never made a white lasagna. Uh, for me, most of the time, if it's lasagna, it's tomatoey. And I'm really trying this recipe out because my son-in-law uh, is not a big tomato person. So because of that, this way I can test it. If it's really good, then I know that that's something that I can prepare for him and he will probably like because he loves cheese, he likes pasta, he likes all the other stuff but he's not so hot on the tomato. He'll eat it, but he's really not thrilled with it, okay? So then, uh, this week, we're also going to have a, and a uh, it started out, or it's going to start out as a smoked turkey tetrazzini. Doesn't that sound good? I love just regular chicken tetrazzini. But to add the smokiness and uh, to put some things into it that you would not think about, of course, it's going to have the classics. It's going to have uh, artichokes. It's going to have onions. It's going to have pasta. It's going to have cheese. It's going to have all those good things. So we're going to be taking a look at that as well so, and figuring out the recipe. It's going to have mushrooms as well olives and you name it. So it's going to have the classic uh, Italian uh, ingredients, but we're going to kick it up a little different way. And so uh, what I'm really trying to do is to uh, use my same principle here that I normally do at home, which is number one, shop your kitchen first. And uh, I know my daughter-in-law is going to laugh because she says that whenever her mom and I come in, she ends up with all these extra things in her in her pantry because you know how it is. It's just certain things we like, you know, and uh, we like it a certain way. That's because we've been doing it for 40 years or more. And so uh, anyway, I am trying to be good this time and I am trying to stay within the boundaries of those things that they like and what she has in her kitchen. So I'm respecting that. And um, also this week, we're gonna take some days, there will be a couple of days off where we'll just go out and have, have dinner. And uh, so we're going to enjoy that. The first part of the week, we also have a retirement function to go to. And uh, so that's gonna be one night of dinner. So we are just going to enjoy this week with baby girl. And uh, she's a doll baby. And uh, as are all granddaughters, no, don't get me wrong, all granddaughters, every, everybody's granddaughter is a doll baby. 
and um, we love to see them grow up. We want them to be their best selves. And uh, we try to make sure that we instill in them as much of ourselves as we possibly can because grandparents are very important. And um, our mem the memories that they will have of us and the things that we've done together is just something that no one can, can duplicate. And so uh, if you have grandchildren, certainly take the time to spend the time doing things with them. Now, also this week, think about this. I am also looking at my favorite things, three favorite things in the kitchen. Now those favorite things are also those things that when you have a kitchen, for me, it's not a kitchen unless I have mm, 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 A, B, and C. So I'm going to let you know what those three things are. And no matter what kitchen I go in, you'll laugh. My daughter's kitchen is funny because she's, she's learned under me a lot of things. She's been with me in the kitchen a lot. And when you walk into her house, guess what? She is rocking A, B, and C. So later this week, you're going to find out what that A, B, and C what those items are. And so uh, please stay with me this week. Uh, I'm also working on going live one day. And uh, I haven't decided what day it's going to be, but that's something that's coming. I'm not sure if it's going to be this week or next week, but we, I am going to work out that process. And so uh, I hope that your week is warm lots of sun and uh, because it's 22 degrees right now and I know that it's very 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 cold out some had uh, down at two single digits today just a matter of uh, about 15 miles away they were even colder and uh, it's, it's going to be a very chilly day some of you even got snow the past day or so um, so my heart is with you because I have to admit, I'm not missing the snow. You know, I'm on a spring fling and I'm excited about spring being right around the corner. In fact, this Saturday, we will be springing forward in time and giving ourselves a little more, uh, time in the evening, longer days, longer mornings so we can get in and get the kids in. And everybody's happy, kind of even out the daylight. And so um, just enjoy your week. Have a blessed week. Spend time with your family. And if you happen to have a moment, say a prayer for those who were, in, were involved in the tornadoes down in Alabama. And just keep them in your prayers. That's got to be a devastating situation. We have had a lot of situations uh, across the nation and around the world that have been life-changing, not just, not just, oh, we had a bad day, but we're talking about life-changing moments. And so take the time to remember them in prayer. Now, this week in the kitchen, guess what? I'm not in my kitchen. I am in the kitchen of my son. And so everything around me is totally different. I'm using different materials and I'm still cooking. We are still going to have dinner together and it's going to be even more fun because it won't be just Papa and I, but I am actually taping today and I'm trying to get a little window of time because my granddaughter, who is two, is going to be home in a little while. And guess what? All of the quiet will be gone. So we are going to uh, prepare tonight a white chicken lasagna. And uh, this is a new recipe that I'm going to try. And you know what? I'm going to take you with me. So let's get down to it. All right, let's get down to this white 
cheese chicken lasagna. Doesn't it sound delicious? Now, I have before me a lot of different supplies and I'm hoping that you're going to be able to see everything without my having to fiddle around too terribly much. But uh, I have some of my equipment, but not all of it. So we're going to do the best that we can. I have here a 9 by 13 inch uh, dish that I am going to spray with Pam. Give it a good spray because after all, we don't want a lot of cleanup. I'm going to take it over here to the sink to uh, get the sides. I want it well sprayed. I do not want to have to uh, really scrub too terribly hard and soak a lot. With this uh, white cheese chicken lasagna, I'm going to uh, also roast some uh, uh, mm, they look like little cabbages, but I'll come up with a name in a minute. Can't think of it right now, but that's okay. On the stove, I'm going to start some hot water for the lasagna noodles. So I'm doing that, getting the lasagna noodles ready. And uh, while well, everything was okay, I've got it on high. So that can come to a boil very quickly. Now I'm going to, whoops, I'm going to lift you up just a little bit and uh, you'll be able to see a little more. Okay, now let's get to it. The first thing, obviously, after we get the lasagna noodles prepared, and we're only going to cook those lasagna noodles about halfway to uh, done because we're going to be placing them in the dish and they're going to cook some more. So we'll take care of that. Now, in a saucepan over medium heat, I'm going to cook the onion and the garlic in some butter until they're tender. And uh, I'm going to add, add in some flour. So we're going to be making a roux, getting that roux ready for the white cheese. All right, in this pan, I'm going to add in the butter. And we need about, oh, about a tablespoon or so of butter. So I'm going to put that in and let that melt. And see how close I can get you. Because they have a gas stove where I have an electric stove at home. So uh, the heat is going to be a little bit different. So here's our butter in the pan. In that, I'm going to add the, the onions. And this is one chopped onion. I'm going to add that. And my daughter-in-law has a well-stocked kitchen. And, she's so, and it's so funny because she knows if there's anything that we see that between her mother and myself, if, there, if there's anything we see that uh, she may not have, eventually we'll probably pick it up because we do a lot of cooking in her kitchen. Now, so I've got the uh, butter in the saucepan, and I'm going to let that cook for just a few minutes. Then I'm going to add in uh, about, uh, what's equivalent to about a clove of garlic. So that's going to be a good heaping teaspoon of minced garlic, because I bought it already prepared. So... Uh, Yes, I cheated a bit, but I'm going to give it, there we go, got one. That's in there, ready to go. Got the garlic. All right, but I'm not going to put the garlic away because I'm going to need it. Brussels sprouts, with my Brussels sprouts that I couldn't think of the name of just a few minutes ago. So, I have to stay with this because I do not want my garlic to um, to burn. Now in here I'm going to add in some black pepper. A little black pepper and that's going to be the black pepper pretty much for the dish and uh, in just a moment I'm going to add in the flour because we need for the flour, I still have some of the 
butter down there that's still melting. Okay, trying to let that onion get clear. Okay, I have uh, a half cup of all-purpose flour that I'm adding in, a half cup. Here we go. Now, I have to give a shout out with this recipe. I have a buddy who follows the channel and she watches different uh, things that I cook, predominantly chicken dishes. And uh, so to Joanne, Joanne, thank you so much. This is gonna work out great. My son just smiled. He was so excited when he heard that that's what I was going to prepare. Now, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to let this cook for just a few minutes because I want it to start to just lightly brown. I want that flour, I want to get the flour taste out of the flour, and I want some of that onion taste to uh, blend in with, uh, with uh, the flour as well. I'm going to add in some salt. And I have kosher salt. So I'm going to put in some salt. I'll show you a picture of um, the chicken that I baked earlier today. And I baked it earlier today because I wanted a fresh chicken. I didn't want to buy a rotisserie chicken and uh, certainly didn't want any sliced chicken. So I baked my own, and uh, what that actually allows me to do is to use part, half of the chicken for this dish, and then later in the week, either I or my daughter-in-law can use the other half in another dish. So there we go. Now, I'm letting this get nice and toasty. There we go. toasty we're really making the sauce now while I'm doing this you know I told you Joanne gave me the recipe and uh, because I'm so vain of course I don't have on my glasses but I've got the flour I've got the salt and I'm going to um, add just, I think I'm going to add just a teeny tiny bit more butter, just because. And then I'm going to start to add the liquid. nice and hot. Okay, I have exactly two and a half cups of chicken broth. Half of this chicken broth came off of the chicken that I cooked. The other half is box. So I'm going to start to add in about half of that liquid. go and it's going to start to get bubbly which is good I'm going to keep stirring I'm going to add in more as it as the flour soaks it up add in more there we go I think I can go ahead and put the rest of that in and then I also need one and a half cups of milk and I have an onion that's in there and while he'll probably taste good, he doesn't look that great right now, so I'm going to take him out. He got a little toasty. And this is going to, I'm going to let this come to a boil. And then I'm going to add in that one and a half cups of milk. Because what we're going to do is that we're actually making a white cheese sauce. 
So we need for this to uh, come to a boil. Now while this coming to a boil, and this is up pretty high, shouldn't take that long. While this is coming to a boil, I'm going to get the cheese out. All right, I'm going to add in one and a half cups of milk. That's what I've got right here, milk. And you'll see it's kind of starting to boil around the edges. Go ahead and start to pour that in. There we go. We've got the milk, the one and a half cups of milk. We've got two cups of chicken broth. And while I'm constantly stirring, I'm going to let that come to a boil. And then I'm going to add in two cups of Parmesan cheese. Now, I know you know what it looks like just to sit here and stir, so I'll bring you back when it's time to add the cheese. Okay, guys, it's pretty much ready, so I'm going to add in two cups of the four cups of mozzarella cheese. This is one pack of uh, Kraft natural mozzarella cheese and this is the two cup package. And you have to keep stirring because this cheese, I promise you, will burn. So while we want it to stay hot and we want it to melt, what we don't want it to do is to burn. But I do want it to be nice and creamy. I'm going to go ahead and add in the other two cups. I always cut mine open with scissors. Don't ask me why. I know it has the zip, but I do that out of habit just because I tend to use scissors most of the time. Okay, two more cups. And then we're going to add in a cup of Parmesan cheese right here into the sauce. Wow, that looks great. Now if you think it's just a little too thick for you, you can certainly add in just a smidgen more milk, but because I'm trying this for the first time, I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to stick with the recipe, and other than tweaking the butter, that's about it. Okay, I need about a cup, so that's going to be about half this package. Okay, and the rest of the parm is going to be sprinkled in between the layers. Now, if for some reason you put your sauce together and uh, you have to leave it, definitely be sure to turn it down. And definitely you will need some extra milk because you do want this to get nice and bubbly. And while I want it to be just perfectly smooth, I do want just a little bit of uh, movement to it. So I'm going to add in about another, not even a fourth of a cup, maybe a couple of tablespoons more of milk, just because I want it just a little bit smoother. I'm thinking of the cream sauce that I fixed for a macaroni and cheese. You know, you don't want it loose, but you want it smooth, okay? All right, so there we go. That looks pretty good. So I have this on low. 
that sauce looks wonderful look at that look at that ah beautiful okay sauce check now what you will not believe what we're waiting for at this point we are waiting for this water to boil so that we can get the noodles done so as soon as they're ready I'll come back all right now you're going to see these two little blobs basil leaves dried basil leaves I added in and I actually did herbs of Provence and so I'm going to stir those in because we are just about ready to put this together I had to put the top on the water what was I thinking in order to get it to go so we are almost ready now I'm going to get another spoon I'm going to taste this salt to see if I need to adjust uh, taste this sauce so I know if I need to adjust the seasoning I think I may need a little more uh, salt actually you know cheese tends to be a little salty but I'm going to add in just a pinch more of salt because we still have the chicken we still got the uh, ricotta and uh, I'm just going to put a little more salt in okay all right we're good to go all right now in the meantime I'm waiting for the noodles to finish up they maybe have about a minute more I took the ricotta cheese and I put it into this bowl I had some leftover craft grated uh, Parmesan cheese and I've added it to this mix and I'm just kind of stirring it up plus it gives a chance for it gives the, the ricotta a chance to uh, kind of lighten up a little bit because when you first take it out of the container it's pretty stiff but it responds very quickly to the warmth of the room and uh, will start to soften up. I still have some parm that is in the pack and I'm kind of slowly but surely working that in because I'll sprinkle a little but I do want some into the ricotta and uh, so I'm just mixing as we go that gives me a little bit of something to do now how many of you get to I'm gonna bring you up for just a minute how many of you get to cook in your children's kitchen especially those of you particularly those of you who have grown children once they're grown and married most of the time they want to do all their own cooking but um, you know sometimes you get to go in especially if there's a new baby or whatever it may be you get to go in and prepare a couple of meals and so it's fun to be able to go in a very often uh, my daughter-in-law's mom and I will team up and we'll tag team and uh, prepare meals my um, son-in-law, my daughter's husband, uh, when his mom comes, we kind of do a joint meal and we team up and uh, we have an opportunity to all show off our fun dishes. And so it's just, you know, that's, that's a fun thing too about the holiday because you get to go in, you get to cook, and uh, you get to do those things for your children that you haven't had a chance to do in quite a while. Now guess what? That's the timer. That means it's time for those uh, noodles to come out. So let me get those. Now, I have put those pasta noodles down here in this container. There's a paper towel down in there, and I want them to uh, just kind of drain off just a little. You know that in the bottom of my dish that I had, uh, uh, I sprayed it very well. So in the bottom of this dish, I'm going to add in some of that good sauce that we made. And I think what I will do, rather than to really make a mess, is that I'm going to use a ladle. And because I don't really want to uh, burn myself, which I'm known for doing, so I'm going to put a ladle of this sauce down in the bottom of the pan. And that's just going to give it a good cushion down there at the bottom. Okay, oh, this smells so good. Now, we've got about a third, I guess, maybe. I'll put just a little more in the bottom. 
And uh, on top of that, I'm going to layer about, a, about three of the noodles. They're still pretty warm. There's one. There's two. Woohoo! And here's three. Woo. They're a little warm. Now, I've got that. I've got a third of the noodles. And we're going to add in about a third of the chicken. I guess I could have put the chicken on the bottom, but that's okay. We've got more than enough chicken. i got chicken still in it that I haven't uh, even thought about putting in. So, got my chicken in. Kind of spread it out. All right, got that. We're going to add in, uh, we need a layer of, we need some spinach in there. Let's see, we need noodles. We've got the sauce, uh, the noodles, the ricotta, and the chicken. So we need some ricotta. I'm just going to start adding in. Several spoonfuls of their ricotta, and as it gets warm, it will be easier to spread. So I'll come back and do a little spreading. Okay, now one more. I'm over there in the corner. Now I'm going to add in some of the spinach. We have two containers, two 10 ounce containers of frozen spinach that I'm adding in. Okay, now I'm going to put in another scoop. Of the sauce. Start with two. Try to get it all the way to the corners. Okay, then I'm going to add in some chicken. And, huh. In. Now guys, I'm not going to promise you that I don't get this out of order because most of the time I do. But you know what? Once it starts cooking, nobody knows. They don't care. It's so good. You just keep working. Keep working. Once that dish is baking, no one will have a clue. Okay. Now, just in case I didn't tell you, I prepared nine of these uh, lasagna noodles. You may need all nine. You may need less. You probably won't need more. I say probably. Let's see if we can find a piece of one. There we go. Okay, there we go. Now, on top of this, I'm going to sprinkle some... Ricotta. This is the last batch of ricotta. Some there. Some there, because all of it's going to spread. some spinach, good layer of spinach. If you have a little spinach left over, then you know what, that's gonna, that can either go in uh, something tomorrow night, another dish, or another night, some night this week anyway. But I think we're going to need all of it. Now that I'm looking at it, I think the paper towel it was sitting on was puffing it up. So here we go. And 
go. That's all the spinach. Then you know what's next? We got some chicken that's gonna go on top of there. And that noodle, another noodle, and this last noodle, huh? he's in pretty good shape. I thought he was one of the broken ones. Oh, that's good. That works out perfect. All right, now guess what's last? Oh, that good sauce. So, let me stick that underneath. Now, we are going to ladle on the rest of our sauce. Ladle it on. get any on the side then you can just like I did like I carry away I'm going to take this and just kind of give it a mash Let everything settle. And then I'm going to wipe it off so that these little edges, well, I want them to brown. I don't want them to burn. Okay, so I'm going to give this a good wipe now. And then it's ready. Now, you know, you can do this in advance. Now, you know that little bit of Parmesan cheese that I had? You know where that's going. Mm, 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 mm. A sprinkle, sprinkle. Now I'm finishing this up, but we're not quite ready for dinner. Not even close, because we still got to go pick up baby girl. And uh, we probably won't eat until about 6 o'clock. But you know what? Dinner is just about ready. So, I'll take a picture when it comes out of the oven. This week in the kitchen has been so much fun. Spending time with my son and my granddaughter. Wow. There's no, it's priceless. There's just nothing else. That special time that is given that grandmothers do to uh, take the time to love on both your child as well as your grandchild. And so <coughs> while I did not, excuse me, did not get a chance to uh, cook as many meals as I would have liked or to video in a quiet place as I would have if I were at home. I certainly got things done. So I hope um, you will forgive the fact that this isn't probably the normal uh, video, video for the week where you see lots of cooking, lots of uh, the planning, the menu, the whole to do. I had to roll with it. I had to roll in someone else's kitchen. And so for that reason, I took the camera with me when I could, when it, when I could get a moment of quiet, I did. And um, otherwise, remember, the rest is just gravy because next week I'm back in my kitchen and I'm doing the things that I would normally do. So I hope for you that this has been a wonderful week and that it's been blessed for you. Um, I, I found this sign this week that said, bloom where you're planted. And that is absolutely right. Uh, no matter if you're in your kitchen or someone else's kitchen, bloom.
because that just happens to be where you're planted for the moment. So with much love, have a wonderful week.